What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going, this week, we're gonna be doing a vlog that you all have been asking for for years and I'm finally doing it before I moved to New York. I was like, I have to do it. I did it in Athens and everyone loved it. I'm gonna be taking you guys along this week visiting all of my favorite spots in Tampa. So that's shopping, that's eating, that's browsing, that's enjoying, that's anything you could possibly think of. Um, I'm just gonna be compiling all of my experiences into this vlog. So today we're headed to one of the places. I'm gonna vlog it and then we'll go on to the next day. I'm kind of trying to do one thing a day. Um, so yeah, some of these might not come to a surprise to you guys. It's a lot of places that I go to all the time, but it was really, really requested and I wanted to highlight some of my favorite places in this amazing city, Tampa. It'll always be home. I'll be visiting all the time. Subscribe if you guys are new here for all kinds of fun vlogs coming up moving to New York next week or maybe this week as you guys are watching this who knows so today's stop is Tampa International Mall and Bay Street <laughs> I think it's called International Plaza and Bay Street when I was younger I used to say can we go to International Plaza and now I just call it International or International Mall you guys are probably like Danielle really you're taking to a small maybe it's a Tampa thing but if you know this mall like it's a good mall I enjoy going to this mall. She enjoys it. It's like you make a day out of it. There's a beautiful outdoor area that kind of reminds me of the Grove a little bit. You have nice restaurants. Um, one of the restaurants we're gonna be eating at today is my favorite and I wanted to show it in this vlog. We're headed to Bazile, which is upstairs Nordstrom. And it is delicious. The French, I, I'll be showing you guys, but that's where we're gonna be going to lunch. It's my favorite restaurant at the mall, probably. Just a great spot, and it's kind of hidden in the back, so we don't usually have a problem getting a table. Um, but just Nordstrom in general at the International Mall is my favorite. I always suggest parking upstairs Nordstrom. There's always a spot, and you get right in to upstairs Nordstrom. It's just a beautiful entrance. It's just like one of those malls that you actually enjoy walking around, at least I do. Upstairs entrance is vital. It's a great entrance. It's right by the restaurant. The bathrooms up here are my favorite. All around amazing experience. All right, Basile, here we come. All right, so tell us about the drink you got. Oh, we don't like it? Oh, she loves it. It's called the Anniversary Sprint. It has Prosecco and fresh peach puree in it. Look at you. I typically get the berry ginger smash and make it a mule, but I didn't really want it right now. But she's drinking. I got my water with lemon. All right, guys, if you take anything from this video, let it be these french fries. Not only are the fries good, but the sauce is like this aioli sauce. I don't know why it's pink, but it's amazing. It has like olive and garlic. I don't know, but it is so good. If this could be my meal, it would be it. So I got the cilantro lime tacos because I, I love their margarita, definitely check it out. However, I always fill myself up on those and I don't eat the pizza, so I thought I'd go for the lighter option just because, you know, it's a whole thing. All right, so we're headed right outside and this is the beautiful outdoor area. So there's an Urban Outfitters right here, Brio. I had like Friday at his graduation dinner there. Actually, I think I did too. I've had a birthday dinner there. Great, they have the food court in there, obviously. But it's so beautiful, like it just keeps going. I just feel like I'm at Disney World or something in a great way. The pub, whiskey cake, I haven't been there yet. I love Doc B's Fresh Kitchen. I know it's a chain. I've been many times. Their sweet potato chips with guac is delicious. And then we've got all kinds of things. This place just opened. All right, so came back to the car. We did some shopping. Paul is in my unfiltered day in my life vlog that is already up, so go check that out. We both needed to come back and chug some water because yes. mall gets ya. <laughs> and we are stopping by. We could have walked over here, but we just drove our car from Nordstrom right in front. We are at Restoration Hardware. It's a furniture store, so you're probably like, do you know why? Mm -hmm. Restoration Hardware is just a magical experience. I don't foresee myself purchasing furniture from there in the next few years. It's very expensive. I mean, one day, hopefully. It's just, it's got like four stories. Everything's symmetric. So like every room you go into, it's symmetric on either side of the building. It's so crazy. 
They play good chill vibe music. Um, my favorite part is after like I go shopping and we eat and everything. Usually what I'll do is we didn't do this. I'll go to the E bar at Nordstrom and grab like a latte or matcha lemonade or something <laughs> of the sort and take that drink into Restoration Hardware and sit on the rooftop, which we're about to go to. I love it. It's literally some Restoration Hardwares around the country actually have restaurants mm. in them. We went to the one in Chicago. So gorgeous. When Brooke and I were there, I wanted to go, but they were full. Either way, it's a great escape. I love it. You could take great pictures. Like I'll probably ask my mom to take an Instagram picture for me up there. It's just so beautiful. And I love stopping by when I'm at the mall. So little hidden secret. No one's ever up there and it's so relaxing and it's outside. And you get a good view of Tampa too. Ignore the storm clouds. It's not adding to the look, but Look how grand this is. This is like a whole on furniture store and it's like a beautiful luxurious hotel or something. So you wanna go to the fourth floor. It's a bit of a hike, but very worth it. We can also look at the furniture, but we've just been here so many times. And here we are, Oasis. You'd think this is like the Kardashian wedding setup or something. I just love it up here so much. Oh, you look so cute. Love it, let's surf it. I love it. Oh, I love it here. So yeah, it's a great lookout spot. The airport's right over there. The Bucks Stadium is over there watch planes take off I'll like drop someone off at the airport and then come here and I'll be like hey it's just like so magical <laughs> All right, we got pub subs. Yes. We got the beach umbrella. Yes. Today's stop is one of our favorite beaches in Tampa Bay, and that is Honeymoon Island State Park. I love Clearwater Beach, we love Clearwater Beach, but sometimes it can just get a little too crowded, very touristy, which we love the tourists. Obviously, that's why Florida thrives. Um, but there's something to be said about actually like relaxing at the beach and sitting there and yeah, it's easy. It's easy. It's just like an easy you beach. Pull right up, you pull it right onto the beach, yes. Oh, it's just so lovely. So we're headed there. Sometimes we'll go there if either one of us is just feeling like blah or just need a little break. We'll just pop over to Honeymoon Island. The drive in, you drive along the causeway and then into the state park. You do have to pay um, per car. It's like last or there? Four each. Four, four each. Or eight per car. Eight per car, but if it's just you, you just have to pay like four bucks. Um, but it's worth it, and there's a dog beach, there's different, there's like South Beach, North Beach, they have like food concessions, um, it's really cute. We made it, and there's not a lot of cars at the parking lot, which means there's not a lot of people here, which we love. We parked right in front of a little bridge so we can get right onto the beach. All right, we got the chairs, thank you. Just dipped in the water, gonna have my first half of my sub. Hopefully no seagulls take it. <laughs> All right, you guys, a few hours later. How long do you think we've been here? Like four hours, three hours? I think we've been here for like three, four hours. Can't wait to see what suntan I got. There's like no one out here now. It's just so relaxing and we were sitting like right by the water. Hello everybody, another day, another favorite spot in Tampa. Here with my mom. We accidentally both walked out to the living room wearing 
white dresses. But I changed my shoes because I wasn't gonna wear my white sneakers too. So. <laughs> yeah, she, we were both wearing white sneakers. So today's spot should come to absolutely no surprise at all. We are going to Oxford Exchange. <laughs> OE baby, oh, one of the OG places. I absolutely love this place. Anytime someone goes to Tampa and they ask me my number one food recommendation, place recommendation, it is Oxford Exchange. I mean, if it's like a like a dude who just doesn't appreciate like a good brunch, I'm not gonna tell him that, but like pretty much everyone I tell to go to Oxford Exchange, even some dudes, okay? It's magical, it's this huge place. They have a store in the front, there's a beautiful restaurant. Um, very airy feeling greenery everywhere we request we always request to sit in the sunroom um which you guys will see when we get there but also the main dining room is really cute too i mean it's all great but if you want the true experience but also it's right across the street from university of tampa my mom spartan go but spartan was not there when i was in college oh my gosh it's yes she would have been there tampa and all that has just really come up so much since i was in you tea, baby. But you can also, if you're alone, you can go and just check out the store and then you can get to go coffee or to go tea. They have a tea area. Oh, and they have a champagne bar now too. I forgot oh, about that. Let's stop there. Yeah, there's a champagne bar that's like sponsored by Rifle Paper Company. So it's all beautiful and decorate. Like it is, wow. it's like, a, like you can't go wrong at Oxford. There's so much to do when you get there. She got one of the, is this the bubbly flight or something from the champagne bar? Yay! Ah, a good time. We shopped. We didn't buy anything. We looked at all the, oh, someone's coming. Oops. We ate, we laughed, we cried, we took a shot. Yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, time. checked out the coffee table books because I'm on the hunt for some good ones for my apartment and I saw a couple that I want to buy on Amazon um, and it was really nice. So right. yes, we are arriving into our next destination, which is another place I always recommend and that is Hyde Park Village. We love it. There's restaurants, there's stores, there's a soul cycle. There's so many great things. It's such a great little community. It's like an outdoor shopping center there's anthropology west elm lululemon madewell and some other really really cute stores and then like i said there's a soul cycle there's a juice spot there's a coffee shop that i'm going to be showing you guys it's one of my favorites it's, it is my favorite in tampa so yeah we're pulling in now and i can't wait to show you guys around okay so this is new there's now a sephora here which definitely adds to the space we have anthropology west elm should we go into anthro I feel like yes. Sure. Always smells good in here. Got a popsicle place over there. Francesca's paper store is one of my favorite little spots. This fountain is so cute. People sit around it. And Bar Taco, great restaurant. Lululemon, of course. Sorry, of the hiccups. <laughs> sprinkles cupcakes. They have a little sprinkles ATM. Back here, there's a little alleyway with other stores that are hidden. DIY dessert. Guys, this store is a pet store. They have the cutest, most creative dog toys. I love it. This restaurant is like the new place to be seen at night. It's called Meat Market. It's delicious. If you like steak, definitely come here. Or you can come in the lunchtime. So many tables. Got Bonobos, Madewell, Sunny Spencer, really, really cute. All right, in need of a refresh, so we're going to one of my other favorite spots, which is Buddy Brew Coffee. Oxford Exchange serves Buddy Brew Coffee, so I've actually already had it today, but I've heard good things about the matcha lemonade from Buddy Brew, so we're gonna check it out. They have great food, they have great drinks, and 
some great vibes. If you want to get work done, it's right over there. They have a couple locations around Tampa and I think St. Pete perhaps? Great spot. the last stop of the day one of my favorite my favorite lunch spot in tampa it's kind of healthy too fresh kitchen we are here right now camera just died on the last leg of the trip it's okay um fresh kitchen is so amazing you basically do a four bowl or a six bowl i do the four bowl and you get a uh, two bases a protein a vegetable or a side and they have all these amazing sauces they actually have great green juices and just different little desserts, paleo desserts, vegan desserts, like, it's so good. And it's a great quick lunch spot. You always see people here like in their workout outfits, post, post workout, obviously. <laughs> I'm silly. Um, my mom loves it. Like anytime we're near this place, we go. There's actually two locations. We're on the one on Kennedy, which is the bigger, newer one. And then there's one on Howard and more of South Tampa. So. It's delicious, you basically go in, it's kinda like Chipotle, you just pick your, your food. But if you're visiting and you're wanting a quick, healthy lunch, so good, I'll show you guys what I get in my bowl. All right, so we just got back, I'm about to dig in, but I wanted to show you guys what I get in my bowl. This is the four bowl. So I get the sweet potato noodles, they're so good. They're not even sweet, like they're just so perfect. Cauliflower mash, grilled citrus chicken, and broccoli. I don't actually get any of the sauces and they always are gasping because Everyone loves their sauces, but I'm not a big sauce gal, so this is what I get. Also got a green juice to go. This is called The Boss. They've had it forever. Apple, pineapple, kale, cucumber, lemon, ginger. And then I wanted to try their ginger shots because I used to get them a long time ago and they were too intense for me, but now I'm kind of a pro, so I'm gonna see if I can take this. Not now, later. It's just such a perfect lunch and, or dinner, whatever it is. I think, no, actually I don't think they're on Uber Eats, but great spot hello Check you guys we are on another stop of the world tour no, i'm just kidding another stop in tampa bay we're gonna be taking you guys with us tonight to clearwater beach and you guys might oh i'm with my dad what do you have to say hey girls hey girls um it's the evening right now and we are headed to clearwater beach and you guys are probably like wait danielle you were saying how much you love Honeymoon Island and that beach and I love that beach and that's a great beach to go if you just want to relax But Clearwater Beach. I love going around sunset time. There's so much to do there It's the perfect place to go if you want to like stay if you're coming in town and you want to stay there They have so many great hotels with pools the whole resort situation hotels on the beach on the other side surf shops They have really good restaurants just more of a touristy vibe, but not in a bad way like just more, more like you know that more happening there's some cool bars and stuff like that um, but one of my favorite places that I love that not a lot of people know about so so I'd make this video is this restaurant that we're going to dinner tonight at a hotel it's at the San Pro Resort love the hotel it's a great one to stay at if you're wanting to ball out a little bit it's beautiful it's on the water it's it smells good in the lobby you just oh it's great um, but the restaurant is actually in the back of the hotel on the beach you feel like you're at the beach because I mean you are at the beach but you've, you're basically on the sand it's a ton of high-rise tables you seat yourself super casual they have delicious food options like um, I get the quesadilla they, they have like sandwiches seafood their fries are really good like starting out with a basket of fries really good um, great drinks and it's on the water so you or it's on the beach really so you can watch the sunset it's just a great vibe my friends and i used to do that a lot there's a ton of public parking around it's just a great vibe and then after every night rain or shine kind of i mean ever since i was little pier 60 which is just down the way um think santa monica pier but a lot lower scale <laughs> They do like a sunset festival. So there's like those cool ju trampoline jumpy things. There's henna tattoo artists. I used to get henna's all the time on my wrists. Um, there's the pier where you can walk along and shop. They have like shell decor that, you know, just like random souvenirs. Street performers that have been going there since I was little. This one guy, I should know his name. He plays with fire. He does all these fire tricks. He has been there for a long time and 
I still love going to see all the street performers. It's really cool. It's just a fun vibe. So after dinner, if you can walk there during sunset, it's really like cool. my friends and I used to love going when we were younger and there's, you know, a playground for little kids too. So yeah, I love going in the evenings. They also, you know, if you want to stay there, whatever it may be, but that's kind of the itinerary for the night. And I'm excited. So this is the hotel, and then if you just walk down this road, head down towards the beach and turn to the right, and that's the restaurant. We have arrived at Oasis. Here's the restaurant. Oh, there is nobody. It did just rain, so no one's out here. And they have a little beach bonfire at night. So cute. All right, we got a little table here. People are starting to come out because the rain's gone, and there's always a pretty sky after a storm. Cheers, summer. Oh, that's so good. I got a strawberry daiquiri, because when you're at the beach, you have to do it. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing. I got a quesadilla. We had to get the basket of fries. They're the most delicious thing. <laughs> and he got a grouper sandwich. And we have a beautiful view. Love it. Everyone's flocking to the ocean for the sunset. Just witnessed a proposal. It was so cute. And they handed out little roses from the proposal to everybody that watched. All right, just finished dinner. We're walking to Pier 60 now. There's all kind of music on it. There's the mariachi band approaching some live music now. It's just happy vibes around here. All right, we are approaching Pier 60. A lovely little entryway here. The pier's up ahead. No street performers tonight. They have these fun little trampoline things and the rolly thing. And oh, oh my god, there's no vendors on the pier. What's happening? Well, no vendors tonight. Yeah, there is a tropical storm coming, so I swear though, there's like tons of vendors on either side. You guys have to trust me. I'm so relaxed right now. So even though it's bummy that there's none of the vendors here, it makes it more relaxing on the pier. And there's this guy over there playing the saxophone and you can just hear the waves crashing. It's so blurry. You can just hear the waves crashing. It's so relaxing. And like the city's behind us. Hey girls. <laughs> Hello everybody. Yeah. Last stop of the video. I've had so much fun filming this video because it's forcing us to, you know, do some fun things. It's not forcing, but encouraging. We are headed to Sarasota today. So obviously this video isn't like Tampa. I'm calling it Tampa Bay, you know, within the general area. Headed to Sarasota, it's near Longboat Key if you guys are familiar. I'm with my mom and my dad, say hi. Hello. Hi girls. <laughs> And um, in Sarasota, there's this area called St. Armand Circle. Grown up going there, probably go there once a year if that, but it's such a great spot to go to. Um, it's a fun little day trip, so that's what we're doing right now. It's raining a little bit, but it was either we do that or the aquarium, because the aquarium's also one of my favorite spots, but this is me telling you guys, go to the Florida Aquarium, Tampa. It's phenomenal. Um, but we really wanted to do St. Armand's and my dad like got off today to hang out with me. So we got to go hard to go home, right? Right. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to St. Armand's Circle. It's basically outdoor shopping and restaurants and it's kind of by the water. So it's just, it's just good vibes. It's like beach town meets like city vibes. I don't know. I'll, I haven't been in a minute, so I'll be showing you guys around as we go. There's this really good Italian restaurant that I haven't been to, that they've been to, it said it's amazing, called Venezia. I've also eaten at this restaurant called The Shore there that's really good. I had a meetup forever back in the day. If any of you guys are watching this and you went to that meetup at Alex and Ani, comment down below, my dad came with me and that was such a fun meetup. It's just cool because it's in a circle and it's yes. nice outdoor cafes and shops and it just makes for a nice day. Yeah, it's a nice day trip and that's what we're all about here. So we're gonna go, we're headed there now.
We are here now, walking around. Yeah. There's lots of canopies to the range. This store has the cutest stuff. Very. Everything but water. Dress Italian, drive German, kiss French, smile Southern. That is cute. The store is really cute, no, I've never seen. I know, they just have cute dresses go. here. Got a chocolate gelato. I don't know why I was feeling it. My dad was getting espresso. espresso. Cheers. <laughs> so I don't, double, is that what you said? Nice. Just walk in, my mom's trying on clothes at a store and we were bored, so. Got gelato. Oh my God. Going to the store now called The Shore. There's a restaurant upstairs. It's so cool. Really cool bathing suit brands. And the upstairs is really, really nice. Indeed, I made a purchase. <laughs> we are now at Venezia for a late lunch. And it's a popular spot. Apparently, they just expanded. Everyone's talking about it. Apparently, they have amazing pizza. And yeah, this is how we're going to wrap up the day. This definitely looks good. I love how they give you your pizzas on little tomato cans. Um, now it was such a nice day. It didn't end up raining too much on us. It was just kind of like that drizzle. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, these are just the places I love and I wanted to share with you guys. These are places I've shown in my vlogs before and you guys have asked me about them. So I wanted to kind of make a video where it has everything there. So if you guys are coming to Tampa, you can just click on this video and hopefully it was a fun vlog as well. So I love you guys so much. Spending my last few days here in Tampa before I head up to New York to live there. But yeah, subscribe if you guys are new here to see my adventures up there. And I'll be visiting here a lot because I love it here so much and I want to see my family and Finley. So yeah, love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye-bye. <gasps> Finley came to say hello. Finley, say thanks for watching. <laughs>